From our Center for the Arts studio, this is your Ashland University Eagle News Update. I'm Zach Cobb. And I'm Logan Gay. Thanks for joining us. Ashland University is beginning to re-examine its core requirements. AUTV20's Chelsea Howman has the story. Both students and faculty believe the core is the heart of the liberal arts education, but that it could use a facelift. I mean, we've got 15 years with the present core, and so now we have some experience with is it actually accomplishing everything that we wanted it to do, and also how does it fit with student schedules. I mean, the Faculty Senate and Student Senate have created committees to come up with their ideal core. Uh, with all the prioritizations that, that is going on, uh, the Board of Trustees have created a core committee, the Faculty Senate have created a core committee, and after seeing that, uh, the Student Senate believe that as students we offer a unique perspective to looking at the core. Although the state has certain requirements, Ashland University's faculty, students, and Board of Trustees are setting some other core guidelines. The faculty need to have a campus-wide conversation about what we're trying to accomplish with the core. What do we need students to get? All students, transfer students, students that start here day one, that kind of stuff. What are we <coughs> trying to accomplish? What really is necessary? Um, and make sure that conversation includes how does the core complement the majors. The faculty and students both hope to have a final plan submitted to the Board of Trustees before school lets out for the year. We should have a proposal, God willing, by uh, mid-April that we could throw out, that we'll have Senate approve, and then put out there this way, the Board of Trustees will have something uh, <coughs> concrete from the students, as I know they're gonna have something concrete from the faculty. For AU TV 20, I'm Chelsea Howman. AU is in search of a new president. On February 11th, the search committee selected a small number of candidates to bring in for preliminary confidential interviews. Those interviews will take place by the end of the month. The committee chose candidates who will be a good fit for Ashland based on their submitted materials and reference checks. More extensive interviews will take place in mid-March for the best suited candidates. It's hard to find an AU student in Ashland who hasn't heard of Grandpa's Cheese Barn, but now students will know them for a different reason. They've established an endowed scholarship in business. It's a specialty retail shop. We have over 200 cheeses and a cafe that has homemade soups and uh, sandwiches. Uh, we thought it would be great for the community, um, help out um, local kids um, that you know, may want to go to AU but don't have the funds to. The students that will be able to, to get it are business students and entrepreneurs um, going into that field and they have to have like a 3.0 grade point average. We're glad we could do it. Um, I look forward to hearing um, you know, about people who are going to get it and tell me about their experience at AU and then hopefully they'll want to work here and, and we can help them out that way too. The scholarship will be awarded annually to a student from either Ashland or Summit County who is pursuing a degree in business and maintains at least a 3.0 grade point average. On February 19th, Ashland students, faculty, alumni, and community members gathered for a final farewell for re retiring women's basketball coach Sue Ramsey. The ceremony included guest speakers in a video presentation before the game against Ohio Dominican. The Eagles ended their last home game with Ramsey against Ohio Dominican with an 81-61 win. Ramsey ends her 20-year tenure with 357 wins under her belt while coaching for the Ashland Eagles. The Career Services Center hosted their annual job and internship fair in Upper Convo on February 18th. Hundreds of students put on their business attire and came to Upper Convo to pass out resumes. TV20's Logan Gay has the story. Career Service Center hosted the annual job and internship fair in Upper Convo on February 18th. Hundreds of students, hopeful for an opportunity to talk to potential employers, put on their business attire and came to Upper Convo to pass out resumes. This semester, the 2015 Career Fair has something for everyone. With a wide variety of employers in attendance, students were able to work on their networking skills and learn what employers are looking for. Coming here to the Career Fair every year has been you know, helpful with me finding an internship, so hopefully I can find that second one. Uh, today I'm pretty you know, uh, happy with the people that I've met and uh, spoke with, so it was very uh, beneficial. 
Career Services wants to remind all students that the job and internship fairs are a valuable asset for the job hunt. Reporting for AUTV 20, I'm Logan Gay. Siblings and kids of all ages took a walk in a college kid's shoes this past weekend. Except that walk was filled with all fun and no homework. AUTV 20's Haley Hieronymus has the story. Over 100 siblings spent their weekend at Ashland University participating in various events on campus as part of the annual Sibs and Kids Weekend. The theme this year was Ramsey's Rugrats to honor Sue Ramsey, the women's basketball coach, and her last home game on Saturday. Organizers say the pack schedule helped make the weekend a big success. The people that had the best time probably took advantage of the whole schedule. I know we saw people that were just like kind of going on and checking off everything on the schedule and they seemed to really enjoy themselves. The schedule included performances, recreational events, baking and convo, and crafts. The performance from the Chicago Boys was a big hit. The acrobats performed fascinating stunts and were interactive with the crowd. My favorite part was when they held each other on top of their shoulders and they jump roped. Sibs and Kids Weekend gives younger kids a chance to see what college is all about, while hopefully turning them into future students. We have been very intentional in planning safe and fun activities for them, and for them to get a taste of what AU is like, and hopefully when they grow up, maybe this might be a bright place for them as well. Reporting for AU TV 20, I'm Haley Hieronymus. With spring break just around the corner, we asked AU students about their plans. Here's what they had to say. For spring break, I'm going back home, going back to New York. Uh, haven't seen my family since Christmas, so I'm looking forward to going back home and getting to see all them. I'm going to Florida to go to Harry Potter World. I'm going over to Italy, and uh, I wanted to go over there because it was uh, looked interesting and fun and would be a new experience for me. So, um, For spring break, I'm just going to stay home and relax and do some homework. Uh, well, I leave Thursday and I am going to Louisville for the Louisville Jazz Festival. And me and the jazz band, uh, we're leaving Thursday and we're gonna be there all weekend and we're gonna come back Saturday. And after Saturday, I actually wake up early Sunday and I'm going to Miami with a bunch of my fraternity brothers and we're gonna have fun down there along the beach. I'm going to Canada for four days with my, with my friend. Well, um, this spring break, I'm just going to be eating and sleeping. That's just about it. Just kind of really chill and take a break from all the schoolwork. That's just about it. For more Ashland University news and sports, don't forget to check out the Collegian at www.ashlandcollegian.com. And tune in every weekday morning from 7 to 9 to the Early Birds Word on 88.9 WRDL. That's it for this Ashland University Eagle News Update. I'm Zach Cobb. And I'm Logan Gay. Thanks for joining us.